purchased four and then eight this week major robot manufacturers worldwide four of them right here in the united states we're going to break down what's really behind that the latest on the nsa uh, right now and uh, then we're going to have the editor of the new american magazine coming on to talk about the secretive partnership with asia uh, that waves national sovereignty to a level never before seen and William F. Jasper calls it worse than Obamacare, and I agree with his analysis. Then Larry Clayman will be joining us, the constitutional lawyer who has wreaked havoc on the establishment in the last two decades. He got the win in court yesterday, in federal court, with a judge saying, well, clearly this violates the Constitution to have just total warrantless dragnet spying on everybody. I mean, if we don't have a Fourth Amendment there, then we don't have any Fourth Amendment. So Larry Clayman uh, will be joining us, and Politico makes fun of him and says, Larry Clayman crows on NSA. We hit the mother load. And they make it sound like, you know, it's a joke or something when he's saying the mother load of exposing this criminal activity and having one of the biggest constitutional decisions in our lifetimes. And I agree with him. So that's coming up. Judge, NSA, domestic phone data mining, unconstitutional. Undoubtedly. And the media is debating, is it? Is it right? Will the judge get struck down? I mean, my goodness. Folks, they're spying on everything on record and got caught lying about it. They are impeached. They are liars. They have no credibility. And it's being used against the press, against political enemies, against the Tea Party, against the Associated Press, not Al-Qaeda. So Larry Clayman will join us today at 2 o'clock going into overdrive. Some stations carry the fourth hour, some down. Everyone can watch and listen at prisonplanet.tv or infowarsnews.com or infowars.com forward slash show. Now, continuing here, a federal judge said yesterday that he believes the government wants secret coalition of domestic phone records is unconstitutional, setting up likely appeals and further challenges to the data mining Revealed by classified leaker Edward Snowden. Snowden is a hero, folks, not a zero. He exposed illegal criminal mass spying by private corporations in league with private uh, defense contractors and government for political and economic control. Just like the big banks use NSA data to beat their competition and stuff, folks. That's all coming out. This is about insiders ruling over us. They're all secretive about their info, but they want to know all of your info. So the worm is turning. This is a big, big deal. They're going to try to spin this. They're going to try to change people's minds and say, oh, well, let's be adult about it like Hayden, the former NSA director, was saying uh, this weekend on the news. We've got to do this to keep you safe. Who keeps us safe from you? We've seen what you've done. They've got federal grants for warrantless checkpoints threatening people into giving DNA all over the country. New news on that is at InfoWars.com. They're telling people they can't have lemonade stands nationwide. They're arresting people or threatening to arrest them who wash their car in their own yard. Police are coming in houses constantly without warrants now. They've got drones in the skies. They're buying billions of bullets. They're training for warfare with us. The government is acting totally arrogant. America has gotten a case of tyranny yet again. Now, I want to go to this article that's on PrisonPlanet.com by Paul Watson. NSA Director Alexander has to ask permission to answer a question. And that's because himself and Clapper, the head of cybersecurity and the rest of it, go to Congress and say, we don't spy on you without warrants. There is no dragnet. And it's clearly a lie and clearly illegal. And so he's got to literally lean back to the shadow government, to the bureaucrats that never leave, and say, can I answer that question? But then it dovetails with the founder of PayPal saying that we should just do whatever the government says. We should just trust them. 
Remember, they weren't spying on us, they said. They didn't have hubs and all the telecommunications companies grabbing everything like I told you they did in 1996, 18 years ago. They weren't doing any of this. You're crazy if you say they are. Bush gave press conferences seven years ago. I'll never forget, I was in Los Angeles working on the distribution of Loose Change Final Cut. I'll never forget sitting there in Charlie Sheen's house of all places, watching Bush's live press conference during the day. So I was off that day. They're working on that. And it was on a big screen TV that covered the whole wall. And it was Bush going, eh, I promise we don't do anything without warrants. It's only for Al Qaeda. I promise. I promise. And of course, it came out a month later. It was all total lies. Then they go, oh, we don't have hubs and all the telecommunications. That's all lies. Lie, 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 lie. They're using it for political persecution. And the founder of PayPal on Charlie Rose's show literally says that we need to just trust the government. This isn't a government. It's private interest that have hijacked us, that pay $10 billion of taxpayer money to move General Motors to China, that are shutting down our power plants, that are getting rid of our Bill of Rights, that teach the kids nationwide, two plus two equals five, obey the state, the name father and mother is abusive. They are screwing our country over. They are an enemy. Of course they're saying, trust us. It's like in Mars Attacks where the aliens are running around shooting people in Las Vegas with ray guns. We used to have that as a liner going out to break. They go, don't run. We are your friends. And, and the people stop and get shot. And that's a joke about psych warfare in history. How in World War I they found with loudspeakers, they would say, lay down your guns. We're helping. We're coming to help. We're not firing. Even as the Germans would fire and fire their their mortars and their cannons and their machine guns and go after everybody. As all of that happened, as all of that went on, they found, the Germans did it first, the French and allies were doing it later in German, that people would actually lay down their guns. We don't have to fight. They want to be friends as they jump over and bayonet you. We're your friends. We want to help you. Drink your fluoride water. Take your GMO. You know, organic food's not good for you. National study. Vitamins aren't good for you. Mercury is good for you, though. Max, how do you pronounce his name from the Ukraine, the founder of it? Lavchin uh, is the guy on here, uh, the founder of PayPal, a year younger than I am, clearly chosen to be able to deploy this by the powers that be on record working with the NSA. Here he is after the NSA director talks saying we should just trust him and do whatever they say. Here it is. Did the NSA actually find a foreign power that had identified this capability and discussed using it offensively? I need time out on that. Um. I am probably uncharacteristically pro national security agencies, writ large, and NSA in particular, despite the fact that they would not hire me at some point. I actually wanted to work for the NSA, and I was not a U.S. citizen, and that I just fundamentally trust the national security establishment to care about the citizens. Oh. It's a trade I would be willing to make. Security and liberty. Uh, security and privacy. Anytime you trade liberty for security, you get neither. That's Benjamin Franklin. Do you feel secure with this government? This is, uh, I love how they ask Alexander, the head of the NSA, they ask him foreign powers? You know, because of Snowden, know what we're doing? As if the foreign powers don't know. You're looking at an officer of the globalist, the corporate foreign power. They are the foreign power. We are occupied. Now, where else have we heard we should just fundamentally trust them, even though they're caught lying and abusing us and doing insider deals constantly? We should fundamentally trust people who are debasing the currency, devaluing the currency, wrecking our industrial base, teaching our kids two plus two equals five, teaching them fatherhood and motherhood is bad, open weaponized culture, teaching kids death education, how to commit suicide, putting 20 percent of the kids on psychotropics their goals 50 percent an open criminal group i mean you look at charlie rose and all of them just total slime bags i'd walk to the other side of the street not to walk by them openly disingenuous openly evil they don't even hide it well all a bunch of hunchback demons literal armies of slimy golems marching forward and they have all the pop icons saying do whatever they say, submit to them, just like Britney Spears. 
Honestly, I think we should just trust our president in every decision that he makes, and we should just support that, you know, and um, be faithful in what happens. Do you trust this president? Yes, I do. And, of course, almost every time I watch Miss America or Miss Teen USA, the clips online, they say the same thing. Like, how do you be a good American? USA, such as South America, uh, South Africa, I just want to don't do the NSSs. In fact, here is that same spirit. This, this, this is who they think we all are. They think we're all Britney Spears ready to be run over by the New World Order. And they, and they tell us mercury. I'm going to play this later. Journal of Pediatrics is good for your brain, but vitamins aren't. Vitamins and minerals bad, mercury good. It's a hoax that you don't need vitamins and minerals. You need organic, high-quality vitamins and minerals. And yes, we sell them, we promote them. InfoWarsHealth.com, InfoWarsLife.com. And I promote these high-quality products because I use them, I've seen the effects, I know what it's done for my mind and my body and my children and my wife. And it makes me angry to see them lying to you. Take our nascent atomic iodine unbound. You put this on paper, it turns bright blue purple. Regular iodine turns black because it's not broken down. This is atomic. This is real atomic. I don't know. We, we can't even find anyone else that makes it. We want a second supplier. Available at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling 888-253-3139. And we're running a 25% off on the fluoride shield that has the iodine in it and five other ingredients just for the next 24 hours. It's over tomorrow. That's available at InfoWarsLife.com. And I am proud of the products we promote. I am proud of the real research that's behind this. I'm proud of the high-quality Southern Mexico coffee we've imported in to bring you and your family Wake Up America Patriot Blend. I'm proud we fund our own news operation and aren't beholden to globalists or get taxpayer money like NPR or MSNBC. And I'm proud of you for supporting us. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Try the iodine. Do you have any idea what mercury does to the brain in an electro, um, electron microscope? It literally shows the mercury frying it. And I want to get uh, some of the American delegates of Codex Alimentarius on. I was on vacation at the beach for about three days a few months ago and just got hooked on actually watching hours of feeds. I could just walk down the beach for like two hours and two hours back. My wife's like, where have you been? And I need to hang out with the kids. You're like, you're right. I would just walk listening to YouTube videos, not really watching them, of Codex Alimentarius debates. And over three days, I probably watched six, seven hours of it or listened to it. And they were admitting that they'd already lowered the standards where, where they say, you don't really need vitamin C. So we're going to lower the standard to a level where it would cost you 100 euros to get the amount that Linus Pauling recommended you have every day. He won the Nobel Prize for that, Dr. Linus Pauling. And they just keep lowering it and lowering it where you can't get it. And the soils are debased in Europe as they are here, especially because they use the chemical fertilizers now that make the plants grow who need three nutrients. You need, the government says, close to 70. Many scientists say 90. So you're getting three vitamins or minerals, ladies and gentlemen, in many cases. Or you're getting synthetic forms that they add to all these processed foods that are that, whose molecules are similar but not the same and are very toxic. And when you learn this, it makes you very, very angry because when they put iodine in the salt, it made IQs go up and made birth defects go down. I've shown you the studies. Then the government basically ordered it taken out and then bad halogens put in. That is so cold-blooded, folks. The, the public is in a fog for so many reasons, but the biggest one is the iodine conspiracy. And that's why I think everybody for Christmas should go to InfoWarsLife.com. They've already tried it and are blown away by it. We have a special running on Survival Shield and the Fluoride Shield products, proprietary, right now. You get the two together with a big discount, 25% off the Fluoride Shield, you get them together. It's twice the size of the Survival Shield, it's two ounces. And yes, that then ends up funding the radio show and the news division. But I take this stuff, at first I can only take the recommended dose, I recommend you talk to your physician. Now I take about three times, me personally, what is recommended. Because we got to follow FDA stuff. And I can personally do whatever I want. What it's done for my skin, what it's done for my, it's, it's just, it's everything Dr. Group and others said. And again, the government used to order this put in the food supply. Well, the, you know, the garbage bound stuff, but it's still good. Your body can break it down. This is the proprietary pure. You put this on paper, it turns bright purple blue. Is what the real crystals of um, 
iodine look like? Real iodine out in the open will just eat through the floor, folks, like alien acid or something. But in your body, it's just unbelievable. And, and it's in the nascent form, pa patented, injected in. It's simply amazing. Infowarslife.com. And you've all seen what it's done for you. Do a blind test. Give some to family. Tell them to see what it does for them and see if it has the same effect it had for you. If, if you think it's some type of, uh, oh, what's that effect where a placebo, where people are psychosomatic, you think, or whatever. Because I've tried all these vitamins and minerals and stuff. And, I mean, I only go with the stuff that blew my socks off. And this blew my socks off. Infowarslife.com. USA.org. Larry Clayman was the founder of Judicial Watch. I remember interviewing him back in the mid 90s, right to 2000. Then when Bush got in, he criticized and sued over unconstitutional activities there. And now he has really turned up the heat uh, with Obama because it's just the orgy of constitution violations has, has become dictator level. And even mainline news is having to admit that. So he's a real trailblazer, and I'm very thankful. That he was able to give us 10 minutes today. He joins us live. Here's the headline. CNN judge NSA domestic phone data mining unconstitutional. Who brought the case? Who won it? When everybody else has been failing? Larry Clayman. And then if you continue Politico, says Larry Clayman crows on NSA win. We hit the mother load. I'm glad he's proud of defending the Republic. And then a stunning revelation from man who sued NSA. Dr. Corsi writes about it. And we also learned that they sent out emails uh, that he didn't actually send out to let him know they were watching him. That's the good old boys at the National Security Agency that we know are spying on the Tea Party, the Associated Press, pro-life groups, giving the data to the Justice Department and the DEA and others to harass the liberty movement. Those of us that aren't authoritarians, we don't like fascism, we don't like socialism, we don't like communism. Everybody else can live under that horrible tyranny, like North Korea. We want to live in America, and we're not terrorists and we're not the bad guys for being right about the NSA spying. So joining us is Larry Klayman, uh to break down his stunning victory uh, in the federal court. Please tell us about the case, the ruling, what happened, the harassment you've been under, and where this is going. Larry, thank you. Alex, thank you for those kind words, uh, fellow patriot. You bet. Um, we'll break it down. Yeah, let me tell you about the case. Uh, just within a day or so when Snowden made his revelation, we filed two class action lawsuits. I'm a plaintiff. I made myself the guinea pig, put myself on the chopping block, as both lawyer and plaintiff, with our client Charlie Strange, who you know about. I think you've had him on the show, who is the father of Michael Strange, uh, an NSA not coincidentally, cryptologist. And Larry, your phone's a little low. Speak up for me. Thank you. To Navy SEAL Team 6. And Michael Strange, uh, you know, died in very suspicious circumstances. There's a congressional investigation underway. Charlie has been very critical of the NSA, of the Obama administration, and the military. So we brought lawsuits. And the minute that we brought these lawsuits against Verizon and all the other cell phone companies and the Internet providers like Google and Yahoo and you name it, uh, we started to receive these text messages that we never sent and, you know, were in fact harassing. And it was clear that the NSA and the government and the Obama administration was trying to scare us from going forward. But that being said, and that's what Jerome Corsi, my friend and client, wrote about at World Net Daily, where I'm also a columnist. We went forward with the case. We filed motions for preliminary injunction. We argued them in front of the court on uh, November 18th. You can see the transcript and all the pleadings at freedomwatchusa.org, freedomwatchusa.org. And we told the judge that our government has broken away from the people, that it no longer represents us, that the executive and legislative branches of government have become tyrannical, uh, under Obama, and frankly, under the Republicans as well, because they've gone along with this outrage. This is the biggest violation of constitutional rights in American history, that our founding fathers would be turning in the graves to see this, and that he was the last hope of the American people to step in, to stop this outrage, to stop this criminal violation of law. And the judge obviously accepted our arguments, and we take our hat off to him. There aren't many judges in this country, Alex, that would have done what he did, because most of them play it safe politically, because they want to get a higher appointment. 
Well, let's give you some brief. He's the hero. Sure. Let's give you some brief credit. Then I want you to get back into what happened when the ruling came down, where it goes from here, and the harassment you went under. But I read your suit or looked over it and then read your comments in the press and what the judge said. Clearly, you spelled out the truth. These other lawsuits are real mealy mouthed, and we want the judge to tell us if they think it's bad. As you know, in law, we need to declare the facts and stand on the Constitution, common law, common sense. And the moral high ground. So I think that's why your suit was also successful. But please go ahead. Well, and you and I are a lot alike. We tell it as it is, right? Yes, sir. I mean, we don't have time to start mincing words. This country's headed down the drain. And we live in a police state where no one can send an email, a text message, a telephone call without thinking that they're being surveyed. And that has a coercive effect. It enslaves the American people and keeps us down. So we can't criticize the ruling establishment. And that's what I told the judge. And he obviously agreed with me. And if people want to read that decision, it's at freedomwatchusa.org. So, Alex, we don't have time here. And if, if there are more judges like this that will step in, that will protect the American people from the Obama administration or whoever occupies the White House, and Congress, Democrats and Republicans, we've seen people like Peter King running in interference for Obama on this. Unless that happens, we're in a state of revolution. The country's going to explode. I don't want to see that happen. So I challenge the judge, and I challenge other judges to be courageous and protect the American people. And I'm going to do my part by filing lawsuits, by engaging in civil disobedience, Gandhi style, whatever it takes to save this country. And you're doing your part, and you're doing the country a great service because you talk clearly, and we have to talk clearly. And you're taking action. You just had a rally there in D.C. saying Obama needs to step down. I mean, now is the time. And, you know, I've seen some of the so-called left, like at The Guardian, saying, oh, the gadfly Larry Clayman, you know, took on the NSA. Hey, you've got the courage. You did it. You're the one getting your emails broken into. And then the left can't even say good job for all our rights. They've got to make a sniveling joke. And the only reason I bring that up is that we have to come together as human beings, as Americans and people, and say, come on, this is spying beyond 1984. And we need to support everybody. I've supported liberals that have been against the NSA spying. It's time to come together. Tell me about what the judge said in the ruling, where it goes from here, and what happened to your emails. Well, the judge, first of all, ordered that all of our metadata of Larry Clayman and Charles Strange be destroyed. And we want that same order for all of the Americans, 300 million, who've had their homes broken into. You know, Richard Nixon, he only broke into the Watergate office complex. He had to resign. Obama and his Republican and Democrat enablers have broken at 300 homes. So the judge said, destroy all that data. And he said, you know, I'll let you go up on appeal government, but if you don't toe the line and follow my order, and my order is upheld, and it comes back, there's going to be hell to pay, and you're going to be sanctioned. And I'll tell you something, we'll assist that, because if they, now they're on notice that what they're doing is criminal, it's illegal, it's a violation of our Constitution. And if they continue to do this, and we catch them doing it, uh, and our orders are upheld, and we're confident they will be, I will file motions to have them held in criminal contempt and thrown in jail. And whether the courts will do that is another question, but if the courts don't do that, then the American people are in the street. Because we can't live under uh, under a George Orwell uh, 1984 Atlas Shrugged world. That's not the United States. That's the Soviet Union. That's China. That's not the United States. As a top constitutional lawyer who's had probably more victories than anybody I know against tyranny the last 20-plus years, I've followed you and had the honor to talk to you, Larry. And again, if you just tuned in, the man who just got a, the only federal ruling out there against the NSA, the only sanity in years, Larry Clayman joins us right now, freedomwatchusa.org. I had him on a month ago saying, join his organization, donate. This guy files real lawsuits for real results. So if people don't go there and donate, which he's not asking you to do here on air, I'm bringing it up, you're crazy. I mean, Larry Clayman just continues to be the real deal and to really get the word across. I need to ask you, though, uh, you know, looking at this, where do you expect it to go now? And talk about precedent as a constitutional lawyer, because if we don't stop Obama acting like a dictator, it sets a precedent. If the NSA stuff comes out now and they don't get reversed, it sets a precedent. What's coming next? That's what I'm concerned about. Can you explain to people this principle historically that it doesn't stay in one place? Things get better or worse, and if we don't reverse it, we're going to hell in a handbasket? We've already gone to hell in a handbasket, Alex. We're hanging by a thread. And uh, it's time for people who are knowledgeable to 
take action. And this one judge stepped forward, but he's the only judge I've seen in recent years. Judge Royce Lambert was like that during the Clinton years. He hasn't got one of my cases lately. I pray that he will. He's a great judge, too. He's a colleague of, of Leon. But there aren't many like that. And we really have to uh, educate, and we really have to show the American people what's at issue. And what's ironic, you mentioned the left. I've been getting more calls from the left in the last few days than from the right. And, you know, they're two-faced. Behind our back, they criticize us. But to our face, they're praising us because there's nobody on the left that is doing what I'm doing, what Freedom Watch is doing. And they appreciate that, but they won't give us any credit. So they have to take shots at us, like in The Guardian or Politico or whatever. And I'm used to that. It rolls off my back. I could care less. The, the point is, is that we want results. And uh, I'm not equating myself with Jesus Christ, uh, hardly. I'm not in his league, obviously. I'm no, but I'm holding you up as somebody that took action and won. Uh, and, and, I mean, this is all of us having our rights robbed. They've come in our houses. Well, they've come in our businesses. Absolutely, Alex. And what I'm saying is, is that you know, they took shots at Jesus, too, right? He was the son of God. Exactly. So they can take it and, st and stick it. And we're going to do what we have to do. And we're not going to be deterred. And... I hope the judges will follow the lead of Judge Leon, because he is an American hero. And you're an American hero, and anybody who speaks clearly is an American hero now. And I don't care if you're right, left, or center. We're all in it together. Anybody that challenges the attempt to chill political speech in the five minutes we've got left, and I know you've got to go, Larry Clayman, there'll be something you wish you would have added after you leave. So you've got the floor. Tell us about your emails getting messed with, according to Corsi, if that's accurate. I'm sure it is. And then where all this goes and what we can do and other points about this case. Well, we know, Alex, you know, that the, when the government wants to get you to back off, they send people to follow you home, to photograph your house, to do whatever they can do to make calls, you know, clicks on it. I mean, I've gone through that for, for decades. Uh, this is just the latest uh, gambit by the government. They sent uh, text messages that I never sent to people that I'm close with and that I work with. And they did the same thing with regard to Charlie Strange, getting him to believe that he was getting emails from his dead son. And the poor guy breaks down in tears at the slightest mention of Michael being killed. Uh, they're cruel people. They're evil. And frankly, they're criminals. And they should be thrown in prison. That's where they belong. Wow. This guy Clapper, who lied in front of Congress, if it had been you or me, we'd already be gone. I mean, they got to go after, uh, you know, baseball pitchers and, and others for lying to Congress. But this guy subjugating the rights of the American people and, and enslaving us with uh, this guy Clapper and the others at, at the NSA, and enslaving us with an Orwellian society, and he walks off scot-free. Yeah, because the establishment does high fives and, and divides up the money in Washington. They don't care if the American people get but it. But I don't want to glaze over that. The, the father of the dead Navy SEAL, clearly a cover-up there, they're messing with him. To, give us this. That's incredible, Larry. No, it is incredible. We got the proof and we gave it to the court. Wow. And we gave, we gave it to the court. That's what they do, Alex. You know that. Oh, I know, yeah. You know, I talked to I a national... Watch, they were tapping our windows. I brought somebody in to uh, to confirm that. Uh, people were were in front of our office in white, in white guys in aviator glasses in an African-American neighborhood following my people home. You know, this is what they do. You can't be deterred. You can't be scared of them. If you walk down the street and think the dog's going to bite you, he will bite you. So, yeah, they don't do that to me anymore because something that happened many years ago. No. I can't help it. I go completely ape. No, and, and that's what the American people are, are subjected to. We live in a gulag-type society. It is little different in this regard than the former Soviet Union or, or China today. And uh, we can't tolerate that. This is, and the judge made reference to that. This is a uh, complete uh, violation of the Founding Fathers' principles upon which this nation was founded. Well, I know even prominent Democrats have been coming out saying Clapper should be indicted because he clearly lied to Congress and said we don't grab any data of Americans. It's just a total fraud. Larry Clayman, let me ask you this specifically. Um, what do you expect now to happen in this court case? Do you think the rogue elements of the government that are stealing all our data illegally with our tax money, do you think they'll start backing off because of this judge? Or, or, or will the judge you know, have a kayak accident? But, uh, you know, you, the government will be the government, and we've told, we've asked the court to set up a very strong monitoring mechanism where we can take discovery. I'll be filing for a security clearance. I had one when I was the Justice Department prosecutor. So we can get into discovery and find out what's going on, and hopefully we'll learn even more than what Sutton knows at this point. Uh, but this is just the beginning. This case is 
we're going to trial now. The judge found a likelihood of success. The government can't get rid of it, uh, only if they do a Hail Mary in, in the appellate court, and that's not going to happen here. Briefly, tell us about the case, for those that don't know. I mean, what is, it, it, encapsulate it. The case is very simple. It's a violation of the Fourth Amendment against unreasonable searches and seizures. The First Amendment for chilling free speech and rights of association because, you know, if you think the government's watching you, you're not going to want to express yourself freely. And due process because heretofore, to use the legal phrase, uh, companies like Verizon and the government went in front of the Fifth Court, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, and we had no right to even know what was going on. And that's why this judge, uh, you know, an exercise in his legitimate powers is so important because he has checked the Fifth Court. He's checked his fellow justices. He has judges. He's been extremely brave. And, uh, yeah, I pray that nothing happens. Wow. Well, I talked to a national talk show host last week um, uh, who didn't want to go public with it because, you know, it sounds crazy, but now it's not because it's so mainstream. He gets threatened, but also the fake texts, the fake emails. Years ago, when I would go cover Bilderberg or go cover a DNC or RNC event, my wife would get phone calls, but there'd be no number on the caller ID, just no number. And then they would, you know, women saying, oh, hi, I'm calling for my boyfriend. He got me pregnant. Then when my wife said, I know that's not true. You've done this before. A guy would come on and say, you know, I uh, you know, hope your whole family dies. You know, saw you walking the dog this morning. And, you, and then you realize, wow, it's really the government or someone in our phone system because the number's not showing up, or you'll have family in the hospital. They'll wait till something bad happens, and they'll call up and say, I hope your dad dies. And it, it, it didn't get to me over the years, so it hadn't happened in a while. But, but still, unless you've experienced it, people don't realize that's the final proof that evil has taken over the government, Larry. And I notice you've gotten more stalwart and hardcore over the years as you've been persecuted, because if you're not a coward, this stuff only makes you mad. I mean, I, but I guess they want us to talk about it then and scare everybody. What do you think the intimidation tactic is, a guy's in aviator sunglasses? To get people to be scared and to back off. You remember Vince Foster when he died in Fort Marcy Park? Yes. Uh, years ago during the Clinton administration, and it was, some people said it was a suicide, other people said he was murdered. He was the boyfriend of Hillary Clinton. And many people thought that Hillary, you know, put a hit out on him because he was about ready to tell the truth about what they all were doing. He was actually thought to be an ethical guy, as opposed to another number of people in the White House. Well, the people who were witnesses to what happened at Fort Marcy Park you know, found the body. They were followed around Washington by FBI agents and other agents to scare them, to keep them quiet. Uh, and there are a lot of good people at the FBI, I might add. I've represented some of them, but not those people that were following him around. And this is a government tactic, and, you know, and, and it works, where they stick the IRS on you, where they do this or they do that. And, you know, the American people have had enough. As Popeye used to say, enough is enough, and enough is too much. It's done. It's over. Case closed. This government does not represent the people. And that's why I've gotten hardened over the years, because, you know, I believe in, in, in a government that functions. It isn't on the back of the American people. It isn't persecuting us. It protects us from foreign enemies. It leaves us alone otherwise. And it, our government has become dominant of every aspect of our life. You know, in some states, you can't even have somebody uh, pet your dog or, or, or brush him at a dog hotel unless they've got a license. I mean, it's ridiculous. Oh, no, they're now all over the country telling people they can't have uh, lemonade stands, you can't wash your car in your own yard, you can't have a garden. I mean, this is a martial law, a nanny state. Uh, a six-year-old kisses another girl. She likes it. It's puppy love. They charge, you know, they try to charge him with uh, sexual abuse as a sex offender. A kid plays with a Nerf gun in their backyard. They get kicked out of school. I mean, this government... You spank your kid or you'll go to prison. You know? I mean, that's where we are today. Wow. So, Larry it's, Clayman... It's, beyond, it's out of control. It's out of control. Obama's a socialist, borderline communist. He's sympathetic to Muslim interests. He does everything he can to destroy Israel. And and frankly, we have somebody in the White House who is evil, plain and simple. And we got rough Republicans in Congress that are just cashing in on the money. They're happy that people are losing their insurance. They're happy that uh, people and cancer patients are dying because, hey, this is going to help us win the next election. But you know what? You knew about this the whole time. You have experts. You let this happen. You let Obama do it. And they're all in league together. They're just dividing up the riches in Washington. And that's where our country is today. And people that's right. That. And, and, you know, they've had it. 
They're going to have it because we're going to educate them. And I want to do it peacefully and nonviolently, and we can do it. If Gandhi can do it in India, we can do it here. All right. Well, Larry Klayman, FreedomWatchUSA.org. Folks, read it all there. Get the actual uh, lawsuit, the documents, not what the establishment regurgitates or tries to twist. Larry Klayman, thank you so much for the time. We'll talk to you soon. God bless, Alex. Thank you. All right. Have a great Bye. New Year coming up. We don't talk again before the New Year. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, you can say what you want about that guy, but the harassment he's been through... Uh, the takeover of Judicial Watch away from him, everything they've done to stop him, they don't like him because he, he really believes in what he's doing. And none of us are perfect, but he, he really believes in what he's doing, and he's a good guy. has a lot of courage. Uh, as I end this three-and-a-half-hour transmission, because we go into overdrive some days, we're still live, uh, we are supported by viewers and listeners like you. You can get a PrisonPlanet.tv membership for five ninety five a month. It's 11 memberships that you can share with friends and family with one username passcode. PrisonPlanet.tv, see the nightly news, all the films, share it with friends. All your Christmas shopping is done. Why fight traffic? Why go bankrupt? Why do, no, no, just give the gift of truth. PrisonPlanet.tv, it takes about a minute to sign up or you can get a year membership and get five plus months free off the normal price and get 11 memberships for the price of one. So, ladies and gentlemen, PrisonPlanet.tv, great way to wake somebody up. Give a InfoWars Magazine gift subscription. We sell the subscription and at bulk at cost. At cost, this magazine just to get the word out. Big, glossy magazine full of key articles, factoids. And then lastly, a great Christmas gift. And if you order by the 19th, it'll get to you before Christmas. 1776, folks. Made in 1776.com for the belt buckles with George Washington on them. Uh, for the Made in America apparel. Uh, you can go to uh, InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com to find all the Survival Shield, Nation Iodine, the Fluoride Shield, uh, all the rest of it. It's all available at InfoWarsLife.com. The great coffee, my favorite coffee, getting rave reviews. Folks like it as well. A lot of folks love it. A lot of folks say it is now their favorite coffee. PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWarsLife.com. It's all available there. And your purchases make it all possible.